A developing story here in Iowa where teens are suffering from a rise in eating disorders and hospitals are seeing a rise in patients. Here's Emily Moss. Eating disorders or disordered eating behaviors have a long range, each with their own dangerous consequences, such as cardiac arrest, obesity, or death. Since the pandemic, there's been a surge of new cases. We definitely have seen an increase um, in need in the community, both on professional levels and personal levels. Eating Disorder Coalition President Schwakin says the key trigger for eating disorders are the need for coping with control issues. Many teens find that control through their food not knowing uh, what school looks like, not being able to see their friends. So a lot of power and control has been taken away from kids and teenagers. University of Iowa Hospitals offers inpatient and outpatient treatment for anyone suffering from an eating disorder. Yeah, we've seen significant increases in referrals. The numbers aren't in yet, but I think we have definitely had the numbers up and then the severity of the presentations have, has also increased. I think ever since about mid-March, April, we just started receiving phone calls uh, daily and that has not stopped. Certain personality traits may make a child more high risk. A sense of control, um, liking routines, a little bit of cognitive rigidity, um, perfectionism. Experts say talk to your child about their behavior in a non-defensive and supportive way and work with them to create a treatment plan. In Waterloo, Emily Moss, News 7K, WWL.